All right, we're at the final stages of our backhoe build. We got two items that we need to build to actually complete this whole process. We have a mounting system. Still haven't come up with an idea yet. We got to find out what scrap metal we got to deal with before we can actually come up with a design. And then today we're working on a bucket. So the concern on us on this bucket is this back piece, bottom piece, and this diagonal piece needs bins. And we're not quite sure how we're going to do the bins. We kind of got an idea that we're going to do. So we're going to do this idea and hopefully this will come out. The bucket's fairly small, so it should be fairly easy for us to bend. So other than that, like I said, it's a fairly small bucket, so it should be a fairly quick process. So let's get building on this thing. Here's your bucket. Oh, really? You serious, dude? Guys, let's actually go build a serious bucket instead of this uh, toy bucket. We got the material laid out for you guys. Uh, the plate that we were concerned about is this one right here. We got two bins in that we really need, and we worked for sure how we were going to do that. We had to come up with a system. We think we got it measured out because we had to measure in and out to get these two bins. We got one that we think is going to work. So from here on out, we're going to attempt to bend this, and I guess wish us luck. So the measurements that we found out, we tried, I can't remember what this one was, but the measurement we found, if we went down 5 eighths, that actually gave us the exact depth. So if we went down 5 eighths from our main line and then drew another line and put this onto this makeshift device that we got, we should get our bend that we need. Yeah, so this is eight inches, this line right here. Eight inches is where the bottom of the bucket needs to be. So we marked down 5 eighths, and that's where we're gonna clamp it into our uh, mini little rigged up uh, sheet metal. What do you call that? I don't know. A brake? Yeah, a metal brake. Yeah, a little rigged up brake. So when we clamp that down right there on that line, and we bend it from here to here is gonna be eight inches. So to make this metal break, we used just two extra pieces of A-wire that we had and a vice grip. And then on the end, it kind of gapped out a little bit, so we just threw a C-clamp on it. So basically, like I was saying a little bit earlier, we drew two lines. There's a line above, which is the line that the depth we need the bucket to be, and then the one that goes down further. So we put it on this one that's 5 eighths where the bin's going to start, and this top line is going to be where the bucket depth should be. So the bin should curve around. This place kind of thick, so I don't know how good it's going to be. We'll set up a camera so you guys can see us struggle on this uh, bending. <laughs> it's going to be tough. Yeah, wish us luck.
uh, today we've gotten everything accomplished that we need. It's getting late. We're extremely tired, extremely tired, and we're heading out. Thanks for holding my gloves. So day number two, uh, this project's taking a little bit longer than we thought. All these little pieces kind of added up to the link that we needed, so which is fine. We got them all cut, we're ready to go. Uh, kind of want to give a quick review of what, what's going on so far. So first thing is, is the bucket. So you can see that we actually bent the bucket, which actually looks really good. Uh, probably a tip for you guys, if you're working by yourself, don't have the tools, probably cutting each piece out and just welding together is probably the route to go. Next, is the teeth. So this is the part that we kind of challenged on. Uh, there's a little grooves right here. Um, the easiest thing that we did was just basically drill a hole through and then just use a bandsaw or grinder and cut it out. Problem solved there. Um, during the process though, our table did not survive. So we did a temporary upgrade. It's not completely done yet, but right now it's functioning. So other than that, let's uh, cue the music and we are going to get to welding. So if you break it, you can actually un pull it back off and actually replace the casing without damaging the teeth. So basically, once we got these casings, we drill a hole through it. We got a tiny little pin. We're just going to punch it through. And like I said, once you break it, you can slide the casing off, build you a new one, slap it on, and you go again. So.
finished. It's a little tedious task, a lot of tiny pieces. But we are done. It is actually looks like a beast with these teeth on. It's gonna be a time saver. So if you guys are interested, you plan on building this, so far it's actually been worth every step of it. Ryan, are you ready to dig? Let's go.